Welcome back to the section on designing reverse osmosis and the nanofiltration systems. We will start the section with an overview of the section content. First, we will start with in details explanation of the impurities present in water, their sizes, and the filtering, the filtering methods and the techniques for each size and type of impurities. Followed by an introduction to and the definition of the process of reverse osmosis and nanofiltration and the general principle and how the process occurs. Then we will learn the important concepts and the key terms in reverse osmosis process and the nanofiltration such like flux, permeability, permeate, reject, uh, rejection rate, recovery and more. Then uh, it will be followed by a study of the pretreatment techniques used in reverse osmosis and the nanofiltration systems and how to choose the, the appropriate type of pretreatment according to the nature of water source, water composition, and the type of applications in which desalination water uh, will be used. Then we will talk about scaling and the fouling their types and reasons for scaling and fouling, scaling calculations and the methods of controlling and the types of fouling and the pretreatment which is necessary to remove each type of fouling. Then we will proceed with in details into the steps of designing reverse osmosis and the nanofiltration system, determining the appropriate type and the size of membrane, the number of membranes or the quantity of membranes required, the number of pressure vessels, pressure vessels required, the number and the configuration of stages and the staging ratio, and the number of membranes in each stage and all what is needed to finalize complete designing of the system. After that, we have a video on system design on ROSA program to analyze and testify suggested scenarios identified in the design stages and reach the best design with the lowest possible number of membranes and the pressure vessels with the highest allowable recovery. Also, we will take a detailed uh, example of designing 1,500 cubic meter per day reverse osmosis system for medium brackish water, uh, brackish well water, medium salinity brackish well water. Also, we will determine the type and the specifications of the high pressure pump and pressure vessels. And finally, we will study uh, B and ID or piping and instrumentation diagram to find out the most important instrumentations required in the system, such as pressure, pressure switches, uh, pressure gauges, flow sensors, anal analysis element, and other important requirements for efficient operation of the system. Impurities in water The size of different types of impurities in water and the appropriate and the possible treatment methods and the techniques for these impurities must be known. The impurities differ in terms of size and also in terms of nature or their forms in water. Some impurities are dissolved and some are uh, undissolved. Dissolved impurities may be organic like sugar and inorganic like positive ions, negative ions and neutral such like such as silica and carbon dioxide. And there are suspended uh, undissolved impurities such as silt, colloidal matters and the mineral oxides such as iron and manganese oxides. Regarding the size of the impurities, they vary in wide range of sizes starting from less than nanometer, one nanometer and the micron, up to more than millimeters. Let's take examples of impurities and suitable treatment techniques. As shown in the table, the non-impurity size starts from 0.1 nanometer for monovalent soluble salts like sodium, potassium, chloride, and small molecular weight organic materials, for this type of impurities, reverse osmosis technology is the ideal technique for removal. 
Also, the deionizer or resin ion exchanger can remove dissolved inorganic salts, but it cannot remove dissolved organic matters. Ion exchanger is also used when the value of total dissolved salt doesn't exceed 500 mg per liter. For more information on the different uses of reverse osmosis and ion exchanger, please refer to the ion exchanger design section. In size of 1 nano, uh, nanometer to 10 nanometer, we find divalent and multivalent ions, and we find organic compounds such as sugar and organic dyes, and all of these impurities are considered uh, from total dissolved salt, or TDS. Some of them are organic, like sugar, and some are inorganic, like negative and positive and neutral ions. Beside reverse osmosis and nanofiltration is used, uh, nanofiltration is used also to remove these impurities. But when it is related to removal of specific ions or hardness or partially TDS reduction, nanofiltration will be the right option. Impurities ranging in size from about 10 nanometers and above, such as uh, viruses, small colloidals, such as silica colloidals, various types of proteins, and other colloidals, such as a smoke compound, soap, and the detergent, can be removed using reverse osmosis, nanofiltration technology, but also can be removed using ultrafiltration, either polymeric membranes or ceramic membranes. There are a wide range of pores of pore the size in these membranes, as we will know later. Depending on pore size, they can be used either as ultrafiltration system or microfiltration system. Impurities ranging in size from about 100 nanometer or 0.1 micron up to 1 micron, such as bacteria, dust, silt, and colloidal iron, can be removed with microfilters, such like ceramic membrane filter, uh, 0.1 micron cartridge filters, and of course, ultrafiltration filters. Also, conventional treatment can be used with this size of impurities through through using a coagulation and flocculation process to enlarge impurities size and then filtering through multi-media uh, filters and the carbon filters if necessary. In the case of existing of high levels of suspended impurities, whether they have a size greater than one micron or less than one micron, it is preferable to use a tank uh, for sedimentation sedimentation tank after coagulation and flocculation process to protect multimedia filters from high levels of impurities and rapid performance degradation and reduce water losses in the backwash process by decreasing the backwash frequency. For impurities size above 1 micron, such as suspended matters such, uh, such as large bacteria, uh, deposited iron oxides, uh, dust, fine sand, and other large suspended matters can be removed using a conventional filtration, cartridge filters, disk filters, and other micro filtration systems. The most common type of filtration is conventional filtration which mainly depends on filtering through layers of sand and anthracite to remove impurities that are larger than 1 micron. Therefore, it is called microfiltration. But it can be developed for using in removal impurities with size less than 1 micron by using a coagulation and flocculation process or one of them only and then filtration through the traditional filtration on the surface of sand or multimedia layers. Also, in case of increasing the level of impurities significantly, this may lead to clogging of sand and multimedia layers faster, and the need for frequent backwashing will increase. Sedimentation tank can be used to allow settlement and retaining of impurities in the bottom of tank and disposal them before water is fed to the filters. When the level of impurities is greater than 100 mg per liter, the use of sedimentation tank can be considered before sand filters uh, to ensure the continuity and the efficiency of filters for longer period and reduce the consumption of filtered water in the process of backwashing. 
cartridge filtration. Cartridge filters are simple medular filters or cartridge that are inserted into a housing and can be used to remove particles and sometimes bacteria from water. Cartridge filters can be composed of many number of materials. Some of cartridge may be made from one strands of polypropylene. Example of filters and housing are shown in the picture. How do these filters work? <coughs> Solid materials suspended in water gets trapped on the cartridge filter. The filter will be rated to remove particles of certain size. A typical choice would be five, uh, 5 and 1 micron filters. But the exact choice depends on the quality of the feed water and the substances that need to be removed. The filter should be clearly marked with its size rating. As we said, size of cartridge depends on water quality and what impurities you want to remove. Removing bacteria, you can use 0.1 micron cartridge filter, and the typical choice for water treatment and RO plant is 5 micron. And 1 micron cartridge filter is recommended when there is colloidal silica is present in water and wanted to be removed. It is necessary to make sure that the filters are correctly sized for the flow of water you require. Otherwise, the flow and the, and the system pressure will be dropped quickly. Cartridge filter can remove sediment and residual total suspended solids after sand filter, precipitated metals, oxides, and other metal precipitates. As cartridge filters are not backwashed, they are simply replaced once, once they become dirty or plugged. The frequency of a changing depends on the quality of the water passing through the filters. So using a cartridge filter as a polisher after sand filter is recommended, but is not recommended to use it alone directly on water source unless water is pre-filtered by another way. Life of cartridge uh, filters should be from one month to three months. And less than that, less than one month, uh, is meaning that no suitable pretreatment is used before cartridge filter. Disk filters. Disk filter is a type of macro filtration system. The disk filter cartridge is made of a number of plastic disks stacked on top of each other. Each disk is covered with small grooves. Each disk or ring have a hole in the middle forming a hollow cylinder in the middle of disks. Water passes through the small grooves in between disk surface and the impurities are trapped behind. Higher quality filtration in disk filters depends on geometry of disk grooves, including size, length, angle of these grooves. The typical range uh, is from 25 micron for the finest level of filtration to 400 microns. Sometimes the filtration quality is given as mesh size. Use online converter to convert from mesh to micron or milli. Also, I will attach a table for, for conversion between mesh and millimeter. Smaller size of disk filters is backwashed or backflushed by hand manually. And many of larger ones can be backflushed automatically in such a way that the disk are able to be separated and spin during the cleaning cycle, which will enable impurities to be released from disk to drain. One advantage that disk filters has over the media filtration is that disk filters can be backflushed more quickly with less flush water. Also, latest researches show that we can use coagulation and flocculation to enlarge impurity size to the range of micron uh, of micron scale in order to be removed by disk filtration. This can be used with high turbid well uh, water and surface water. We use coagulation followed by flocculation before disk filters. Nowadays, using disk filtration followed by ultrafiltration is highly recommended over conventional filtration in terms of water quality and reliability. But of course, this system is costlier uh, than conventional filtration. Self-cleaning filters. Self-cleaning filters or self-cleaning strainer is a type of water filters which uses uh, system pressure to clean itself. 
when pressure differential between inlet and outlet is more than 0.5 bar due to accumulation of impurities inside the filter, such a drain, a suction drain valve will open and generate vacuum that will draw all impurities from screen to drain.